Hey guys, Joshua here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Martian Gear cockpit. So I'm going to go into this POV style from here. So as you can see, this is the entire cockpit and it just looks gorgeous. Like wait till it actually closes up and you'll see. So on the back here, you can see you get a whole slew of RGB all the way down and then you get to here. So this, all the cables are going to go through so you can access your USB ports and other ports that you can actually even customize. You can also hide your PC down here if you don't want it to be on display like what they have here. So this can be hidden inside here to get an even more compact and sleek version of the cockpit. So now you can see that there are some of the screens and let's get into it. So I'm walking over and then just sit into it. And if you look here, so this is where your main bulk of controls are going to be. So cabin opening and then let's just go with the cabin close. So, so it's really very cool because everything starts coming down and it closes up and you really feel like you're in an actual cockpit. Okay, now for zero G opening. So this would recline the entire cabin. So you can see as soon as I press it and hold it, the leg rest comes up and I'm being, well, laid back to recline. So this is what they call the zero G. And when this is done, you will be leaning back and it's really very comfortable. So you can see the three screens and also the keyboard and you can have your mouse here. I didn't put it here first because it's a bit smooth and I'm scared it will fall because I'm reclined fully and I'm not holding on to it. And then, so let's go back down. Now for the next control, it's a pedal rise and also pedal descent. So it should be this where it is your foot rest. So if you have longer legs like me, you may want to just adjust it so it goes out a bit more and then it's more comfortable for you to rest your legs on it. So descend and also rise. Now if you just want to adjust the monitors to your own liking, you can also do that by just clicking on the arm rise. So when I press on it, you can see that I can raise the monitor arm up. And then if it's a bit too high, we can just arm descend and it comes back down. So it's really very simple to use. Lastly, it's also the keyboard tray open, keyboard tray close. So I would assume that I'll be using the keyboard tray open more if I'm doing something like maybe I'm just watching a movie and I just want to have a lot more space. So when this is open, you can see that it's really very nice now. I'm not worried about bumping my knees or anything or if I choose to sit cross-legged up, this one won't be bumping against me. So it's really, they've really thought about everything, like everything is controllable, which is very nice. Moving on, you can see that they have some included cup holders here. So you can have your Red Bull put here, you can have another cup, or you can have some of your knickknacks and remotes put in here. They do also have a headphone holder, so you can have this here. And on the right side, there's really nothing yet for now, but it is customizable. So you could also have an extra, maybe another cup holder or something here. And the chair is pretty comfy. So where you would usually rest your arms when you're gaming. So you can see this here, this cushion. So you can have your arm here and then you can game. I would have liked to see maybe the cushion be a bit more forward so that you get full support on it. On, on this side also. So it's the same thing. Okay, now to get out of the chair, all you need to do is you just press the cabin opening. So you just press on this and everything will start opening up. It will go back to normal. The monitor arm raises, the keyboard tray goes out and zero gravity is out and the footrest goes back in, things like that. Then you can just step out very easily. Okay, for the chair here, you can actually customize this to have something like say the supernova 
so that you won't have it being so restricted even though this is an interesting design because with this here it does make the entire unit seem more like an actual cockpit because you fit very snugly into it another small thing that they've added in here is actually the reading light you can turn it off from here on and off and this controls the outside rgb so if i press it you'll notice that all the rgb will turn off on the outside so if you are just gaming alone and you don't want it to be on you can do that but let me just turn everything back on okay so now i'm going to be getting a first well look at gaming and let's see how it feels like playing in this so now i'm in forza horizon okay so i'm just let me just get the headset on so i can have a more immersive experience okay i will admit this really looks very good so i i'm like whoa this is amazing like i can see the sides of the mirrors that they are broken and oh man i just don't know how to explain this feeling it is really just very amazing so if you look at if you can see the two screens on the side you're gonna notice whoopsie okay i cannot talk while i'm playing but if you're looking at the sides you will notice that you can see the side mirrors, you can see everything that's going on and it's really very immersive, like I'm really very impressed by this and sitting in the cockpit like this is really very fun. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, oh no. And now we're into Microsoft Flight Simulator and oh, this looks good. You can see the screens on the side, it just really shows this entire span and oh, let's see. This looks great, like this is really, I really feel like I'm in an actual cockpit because of all the real estate screen that you are able to see. So I'm just going to go up a bit higher before I turn back. Oh man, this just looks good. You really get the feeling that you're in an actual airplane when you're flying it like this. So, oh man. This is just amazing. I'm really very impressed by this. This is really making the entire experience really very nice. This just made my entire own like gaming experience shift because now that I'm sitting in this, it's really very comfortable, especially the zero G when it lifts you up slightly and you are leaning back, so instead of having to push the chair back by yourself, you can just lean it like this and it's so comfortable. I'm just really impressed by this entire cockpit and this is definitely going to be something that's on my to buy list later on. So, oh, I love this. This is brilliant. Like if you can find the space in your home to actually have this cockpit, I really think that you would enjoy having it because it's also an all-in-one solution, especially for things like Say you want to stream, you can mount a webcam on the top here and then you just have everything in with you. You have your mini fridge, you have a snack bar everywhere. Like this is really the ultimate gaming station. I have mentioned this, but the entire unit for this Martian Gear cockpit, you can actually customize. So if you're in Singapore, they do next day delivery. But if you want to wait for a bit, you can actually customize the entire thing to have a different color. You can have different screens put in. You can have them actually change out the seat, have it a bit wider or have it a bit more narrow. You can change out, well, basically anything that you want, you can actually ask them and if they can, they will definitely customize it to your own liking. So that's what I really like about this cockpit because you will want it to be customized to your own personal preference. Okay, now we have a sneak peek of the more, a little bit more compact version of the Martian Gear cockpit. So this is smaller and it should also be a bit cheaper because this is mostly manual. So your, where you're going to be putting your keyboard, the entire rest is actually manual. Okay, now when you get in, it's also quite the same feeling, just that you're going to have to pull this close yourself. And then they also have a remote on the side here. So this one has a little bit less hydraulics, so, but you still get a lot of function. So as you can see on the remote here, you have your zero gravity on or off. So if I turn it on, 
you can see the entire unit is still moving by itself and I'm also getting reclined backwards. You can also still adjust the roof arm or monitor arm so you can see I can have it come down but with this one the backrest will also come at the same time because I think there's only one set of hydraulics from what I know about this but you can obviously also seat recline it so this one going back down or going back up so you're getting a little bit more limited options with this smaller version but it is more compact so it will depend on whether you want the huge version, the entire big version there, which I really love, like this is the version that I would definitely go for, or you can go for this more compact version if you're say on a budget or just want something smaller. Okay, so that's been my first look, first impressions, and also overview of the Martian Gear cockpit. Hopefully, one day I'll be able to have this at home, then I can give you a more comprehensive review of the entire unit, like when you're using it, like what issues you have to take note of, things like that. But currently, this really seems like the perfect gaming setup for me. Like I would love to have it if I have the budget for it next time. So yeah, remember like and subscribe for more tech and gaming videos. Hit the notification bell to get notified when new videos come up and I'll catch you in the next one. Ciao!